What's good, YouTube? This your boy Dub, and I'm back for another video. And listen, I'm almost close to 2 million subscribers that mean the world to me if you do. Now, my birthday is coming up, it's May 20th. If we can hit at least get to 600k by May 20th, that'll make my day. Like I said, it's only like 48% now of y'all that subscribe. That means I have three point, I'm realistically supposed to have 3.5 million subscribers right now, which I think I deserve, but. You know what I'm saying? Numbers mean everything. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people judge you by your numbers. So let's get that up for me. But I do want to talk about something. Something weird happened yesterday. So I go on my phone and I get a notification from Cash App. Now, I you can't request money from me because I used to get random, random requests. And on my Cash App, you can see that it's me, like me and Wuop on my Cash App. So you know it's me. I woke up today, one Cash App yesterday. Now, let me show you all this. One, I woke up with one cash app yesterday, and it was for, it said this. I fucked with your YouTube videos right now. Yesterday at 9.52. At 9.52, I got this. I put it on my Instagram, like, you know, shout out y'all for, you know, keeping it. Matter of fact, shout out Reed, Stay Solid 01. Um, I'm like, shout out to y'all for, uh, my, I got good supporters sending randomly sending me a dollar telling me they f with me and i and i appreciate that but i posted it on my instagram and this is my balance now i don't think you can see nothing from that this is my balance from last night uh, y'all sent me 912 dollars for what like, I don't, I, I really don't understand. Like, I appreciate it, but they're putting the most randomest stuff in the world. Now, I got a dollar from somebody that said, for finally losing weight and growing hair. Crazy. Then I got somebody to say, for being the realest YouTuber alive. Appreciate it. But when we get to these high numbers, these $40, we don't get nothing. They're not saying anything when we get to the $50. We're getting to the $20. Like, they're not saying nothing. Like, at all. We got this one for being a great motivational person. Appreciate it. And it says, I'm in L.A. I need to check in with you. Oh, I'm in L.A. right now. Let me know if I need to check in with you. You good, bro. You good. Just show me the cash out. Then I got people for, this is for snacks. Then I got people asking me, could I send them $100 for them sending me a dollar? Negative. So what I'm finna do right here with this money, this $912, go buy Woop some shoes or something. I don't know if y'all intentions, <laughs> says Albert Real, Real is YouTuber. I don't know if y'all intentions was to send it to me so I can see y'all stuff back, but I ain't got it. I just don't got it. I don't got it to just be sending back. But I wanna let y'all know this is the first sunny day in California, in LA that we had in a minute. Like, look at this. I'm squinting my eyes. You got some sunscreen on? No. You gonna be all right? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, you mean you get in the house soon? Probably. Uh, one more thing I have to say. So, um, I'm, I'll tell y'all later. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I raided my closet, my pantry closet, and see if we have anything unhealthy in there. Now, I know for a fact that Whoop has some unopened Reese PC's principles. Now, I'm not going to touch them, but if there's anything else unhealthy on there, I got to lay law. You know what I'm saying? We got to get fit. Summer is almost here. I want to tell you that, too. You have 40 days until summer? 40, right? Uh, Something like that. You yeah, have, a little more. You got 40 days until summer, and you can start your journey in 40 days. I said about 60, 90 days is when you start to see a little transformation, but if you never worked out like me, you'll see results faster. But... We need to get that summer bod ready. We're getting Woo Op summer bod ready. We're getting Britney summer bod ready. And I'm hopefully getting your summer bod ready. So let's go raid this pantry real quick. Stop. Turn the TV on. Turn the TV on. Oh, I'm glad you got this over. Come over here with me. Put 
Put that, put that down real quick. Put that down real quick. What is this? Healthy. Oh, triple zero blended Greek yogurt. Zero uh, added sugar. Artificial, zero artificial, artificial sweeteners. Zero fat. So about, about 40 calories probably, right? Let me see. How many calories does that smell like? It smell like 50 calories. Okay. Now we finna raise this pantry. It better not be nothing crazy in here. I'm talking to you and your mom. It better not be nothing crazy in here. Most of the stuff crazy is from you, so don't don't get mad at me for the first stuff. What's, why is this in here? Because of you. What do you mean because of me? Why is this you in here? You still use it. When do you ever <laughs> see me use this? Let me see. Every time you eat from. You're the only one eat ketchup. I don't eat ketchup. <laughs> I got this ketchup right here. Low fat, sugar free. You don't ketchup. So why is it so full? Cause I don't eat. I don't need eat stuff with ketchup. So who bought these? Wait, I didn't even get there yet. All right. How long we had these? We just got. Them. And there's four left. Four disappeared. 140. So you, you getting calories off drinks? Lick your lips. I take it to school. Lick your lips. 90 calories. That's nothing but protein. Was a little off. Check out what Celsius is done. What is this? Check out what Celsius is No, I got that from the party. I was going to drink that before my flight. You better drink some water before your flight. That's 100 calories. Why would you do that? Huh. A hundred and ten yeah. calories. It's orange juice. With orange juice. <laughs> now, you know how much you know how much eight ounces is that? How much? Let me show you. Get up. We ain't, I ain't gonna pour this out because it's expensive. I don't even know we made this much. Now you this, now, this, now, this, now, long, now this, your house smells like liquor. Listen, you don't even know what liquor is. But this is this is expensive. I don't even know who's getting this much money. Now this is eight ounces. That's eight ounces of orange juice, right? Now I want I'm so curious on how much this could add in the cup. Take this Starbucks no, cup. I, I, hold on, hold on. That ain't even enough for the uh, infant. That's a grande size. This ain't even enough for a baby. That's a grande. So how much orange juice, could you, you want, if I poured you this much, you want more, don't you? Lick your Probably. lips. How much more, you, look, how much more you want? Tell me when to stop. Stop. Nah. This is a. Let me see. Mm, it's it That's 240 <laughs> calories. <laughs> and who buys simple orange juice? We ain't rich. <laughs> Where you getting his money from? You. <laughs> Boy. So this, I'll let this slide. It's orange juice. Right. Wait, actually. It's for breakfast. I'll let this slide. It's 40 calories. 40 calories? Pretty good. 60? Okay. You're doing good, fam. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this? Yours. I ain't got this. This ain't mass. That, that is, is yours. Where have you ever only seen me? I swear to God, I ain't cheese. never ate. Yes, I, this is mine? You're the only person that eats Put this on cheese. your mama. This is mine. I'm with the, on, You're getting mama. exposed. This is. I'm with. <laughs> This is old when as shit. Eat tacos. Don't you put melted cheese on there? Yes. No, I don't. Yes, you do. When last time you see me with a bowl, you be pouring melted cheese all over. Wait, what happened? When you put it in a bowl, you be putting melted cheese all over the top. No, I do not. Right, then you put it in the microwave, right, and then pour it over. His I ain't had a right. taco in so long. Like you literally just. He just made a taco last like night. You, like I literally <laughs> just opened up the microwave, put now, it in. Now before I open this, guy. Is there anything? Lick your lips. Oreo. Lick your lips. Right. Lick your lips for the top. The top. Why is your lips so ashy? You know you feel that. <laughs> is it from the? Oh, it's now, if Oreo. I open this, is something crazy in here? Oreo. <laughs> I told you. You out your mind right now. 
Dad, I slept on my leg. I don't care what's on your leg. <laughs> Look, you, you tell you who brought I this in my house. I got I ain't worried about that. Who brought this in my house? Boy, it's an Oreo ice cream. Who brought this in my house? Kid. Ask me. Ask my. Answer my question. Don't throw that away, cause them is expensive. Huh? Hey. Come on, go 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 over there, Dad. Go in the room real quick. Run back. Go in there and run back. Go in there and run back. In the room, touch the wall and run back. Now, if I told you to do that 87 times, all right? <laughs> could you do it? That's how much it would take you for you to lose the calories in this. No, it wouldn't. You just told me to P.E. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. How many calories is that? 270 per pint? Come here, come this way. Right. That's pretty good. Right. This is, that means the whole thing. I don't think this is a game. Look at this. It's low, it's low sugar added. It said no. no sugar. It's so good. 100, 100 calories? That's per tub. Why is it empty? Why is it empty like this? Because <laughs> you ate it. Yeah, you, you ate it with that. So you, what? You ate it with that peanut butter and chocolate brownie. <laughs> right. Nobody eating no damn <laughs> Oh my God. I ain't never you make no brownie in my life. You had two boxes. You had two. <laughs> You ate two boxes and one You said one. you got to make the cookie first to make it hard. Then you Find a the cookie and brownie in there and I'll give you $100. Y'all chill my You threw it away. You oh, had two boxes. Find a cookie it's and brownie thing. It's my call right now. Find a cookie and brownie thing and I'll give you $100. You threw it away. You threw it away because you didn't know nobody. I actually took a picture of it when you uh, made it. Give me my phone. Right. Who bought that big box of hot Cheetos? What hot Cheetos? The box in his hand! Ain't hey, nobody The box in his hand! <laughs> No, I didn't. Yes, you're, oh, and he bought all of this. Popcorn. And he bought all this cereal. This is my only snack, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's rice cakes. He bought these. <laughs> for 35 he calories. Bought and he bought these. I think this backfired. You. <laughs> he bought these Pringles, too. Put on your life, you've seen me eat a Pringle I before. But you I swear them. to God, you bought them. Put it on your life, you've seen me eat a Pringle. It don't matter haven't. if you didn't eat them, you bought them. Pull up your Walmart cart. I bet them hot Dude, Cheetos. This, right I told y'all, this is unopened and it won't be open. This is destroyed. I oh, no, for no, Easter. No. Wait, it's Thursday. Let me get it. No, no, give me that. We're not having it. <laughs> yeah, no, this. See if you can jump and get that. No, sit down. Look, and this is mine's right here. A little sea salt, 130 calories per uh, 14 chips. This is too. That's 160 that's calories. 160 calories. That's crazy. What is that behind? Who trying to have them chips under the potatoes? Where? You who trying to add them chips under the potatoes? You. Who trying to add these chips under this potato? You. Your <laughs> chips so old. Hey. There's no point to putting them in the trash. They are. Like, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These is mine. <laughs> these is mine, but they're unopened. I bought them just to see them. I just wanted to see them. I'm not gonna eat them. But what happened to the other box to this? Throw that shit away. I don't need that. You ate it. <laughs> that's right. You, don't need you, it. you ate the whole box. And look, they, they talk about, look, 140. Two tablespoons. God, two tablespoons is 100. What the? Oh. So who's in this? That's salsa. It's not even no calories in salsa. Yes, you, it is. It's 10. It's water in a tomato. That's it. <laughs> What's going to happen? Look at this. What, what's in this bag? That's so old. Hold on, it better be. That's from Vegas. That's from when we went to Vegas. A long time ago. It's, it's old that's from Black Valentine's Day. That's, that's, that's from old popcorn. It's like a rock. So who chips who <laughs> this thing The day you see these Those sour cream mine. onion chips, you got me. Man. Hey, how long? Why would you do that? We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We finna do something. You want a potato? Huh? Dad, do you want a potato? I'm making baked potato right now. Hey, Dad, you want a potato? Yeah, I want a potato. 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 Yeah, I want
Baby, they don't more Had to do an uh, awareness check in the house. We're not eating none of that stuff, man. We want to live a long life. How long do you want to live for, Doc? How many years? Doc! How many years? I got a clip of him on my YouTube channel right now eating some chips. You never eat no chips. Go to BrittanyJones.com and watch chips. my recent video. Watch y'all. He eating chips in there. Somebody said in the comments, Dub, killing them chips. I ain't eating chips in my life. I I ain't, am I new meat? I ain't eating chips. Um. Five handfuls of baked baked hot Cheetos. <laughs> Five handfuls. What are you talking about? Baked hot Cheetos. Where do you see some baked hot Cheetos? It's her That's hers. I didn't buy these. Who bought them? You bought them. Who bought them, Dad? You literally eat them right now. <laughs> these are peanuts. What? Look, look out! I really saw you walking out the house with a with a baked handful of a baked hot Cheetos. Oh, let me show y'all something with Wu Up. Come here. Come here, man. You gotta show him. Look at Wu Up. He finally. Come on, man. Show him. What? Show him your teeth. Get up. <laughs> show him your teeth. Look, y'all. Wu Up finally. Show him. Show him, man. Dude, stop. Show him. They saw him. No, they didn't. Here, we're gonna get a close up. Come here. Come on. Dude, stop. <laughs> For real, Dad. Show your teeth. Hello, show them. Did y'all see it? Show them. <laughs> uh, I'll beat you in Mortal Kombat. You got to show your teeth. All right? Huh? I'll beat you in Mortal Kombat. You got to show your teeth. All right. All right. So, no mercy. With these Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn. No, we're doing one match. Why? One match. Don't flirt. Don't, don't. Hold on. He always refers to food. Or food? He always refers to food. Really not. One match. Percent chance y'all won't see his tooth now. Y'all gonna see that tooth now. Dog, remember, one match. 
You know, two out of three nuts. It's a seventy five percent chance now, man. Don't let me beat you, dude. <laughs> Stuff you a kid. So you can't see it too. No. Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, we right, didn't so know what was going I'm on. I'm not gonna lie. Kid, too. I'm watching. Hey, you know what's funny about this guy? He's talking about, talk about I that, got spies. I've been watching this press conference, y'all, and I'm not gonna lie. I've been looking at tickets to go to this fight, but to walk into the T-Mobile Arena, they want six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Like just walking into there. To talk to the people to get a ticket, they want $250,000. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have to go to this fight, bro. Like, I can't watch this at home. I have to go. Like, this is crazy. So, if you're watching this video, day of, let me know who you think going to win out of Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. I think Javante Davis is going to knock him out. I don't know what round, but I got it for Javante Davis. I have no hope in Ryan Garcia at all. He's fighting somebody that is literally... A demon, bro. Like, I feel like it's. I, I honestly feel like it's no way that Javante Davis can lose. Like, not to, not to this man, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie. So, let me know in the comments who y'all think gonna win. Seriously, and how much money y'all putting on it? If y'all betting, what round? Anything? Cause this is the biggest fight of our career. This this is the biggest fight of our lives right now. The last biggest fight was Floyd Mayweather versus. Uh, De La Hoya, Dan Floyd Mayweather versus Canelo, Dan Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor, Dan Floyd Mayweather versus Sean Mosley. It's just, this is huge. I have to go. So if I got to sell Woo Wop to, uh, sound weird, but it's like sell him to another family to go, yeah, Woo Wop might have to go, man. But anyway, so I'm finna go get Woo Wop some, some more Crocs. I'm at this little mall. I'm finna go get him some new Crocs, but I'm gonna surprise him with them. Cause I just feel like I surprised him with so much different stuff. I just want to surprise him with some more Crocs and just see if he be all happy. Like, if he wanted them, people, like, you got to give him. Matter of fact, I'm going to get him two gifts. I'm probably going to get him, like, a little small toy from, like, this coin thing and then see if he be happy and some Uggs, I mean, some Crocs, and just see if he be happy. Like, is he one of those kids that it got to be a, like, if I surprised Woo when he's 17 with a, um, with this car right here, like, would he be happy? You know what I'm saying? Or it, I, it has to be a Bentley. It got to be a Range Rover. Like, I want to see what type of kid that I'm, you know, uh, raising. So, let's go get him some Uggs. Why do I keep saying Uggs? Some Crocs and see if he'd be happy about it. All right. Who, who you got? What? Who Fight? You got oh, Davis for sure. What Do you think it's going to the full, like, full 12 rounds or knockout? Maybe not a knockout, but like, isn't it like a knockdown? A knockdown, And yeah. then they call it? So, because he can't get up or something? Yeah, that's a knockout. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with that. I don't know which round because I'm not knowledgeable in boxing, but I'll go with that. 12 rounds? If they go all 12 rounds, I have Ryan Garcia winning. Javante has to win by stoppage or TKO or KO. Because if it goes to like a decision, they go off of like 
more punches and right. stuff and who block more punches right accurate power punches right so we're looking at about like what cheapest ticket probably is about nine hundred dollars and you probably like if the ring is if the ring is right here let's say this box is the ring for nine hundred dollars you would be right where that cloud where that cloud at up there is about nine hundred dollars so what would you do to go to the fight what would i do what you sacrifice Probably all my Air Forces. What Never about, wear them again, you know? What about uh, AD get hurt for the first and second round they play on? For the next four games. I couldn't do that. I AD couldn't do that. Hurt. I couldn't do that. Lakers is, is too much for me. Um, okay. Um, d -Lo, Maybe this camera. <laughs> D-Lo. D-Lo missed game three. Him and... What's his name? Malik Beasley? Oh, if, they, if them two miss, yeah, that's fine. I would, yeah. But then LeBron foul out sixth quarter. I mean, about <laughs> second quarter. Oh, no. Like, that's probably an L. I'm sacrificing a lot to go to this fight. I might go. Like, today is Thursday, and I know these tickets are selling out fast, but I might go to this. I have to go to this fight. I'm, I literally, I feel like it's four people like us mm -hmm. that, like, you have to work. Like, this is it's super expensive. I'm not saying like us. And I'm not meaning like that. I'm yeah. saying like. This is something, it's so pointless because it's a 30 second, 30 minute fight. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like we buy, like, look at these shoes, bro. Pointless. Some bullshit ass Balenciaga. It's pointless. White. It's like, these are my white forces now. And, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like this is the pointless thing that we have to buy. Like, but it's an experience. That's what I'm saying. I, I pride on buying things for myself that are experiences, you know, concerts, games. Things like that. I'm an experience. So I think for the experience, got it. Hey, y'all keep donating in the cash app if y'all <laughs> want us to go. Because please, I want to go so bad. <laughs> so I got Woo up. Some Crocs. More Crocs. You know, that's his favorite shoe. And he's starting to wear Jordan. So I got him. Them, I think he's called Pine Greens. No, these ain't Pine Greens. These are... I don't know. Lucky greens. These are lucky greens, so probably can get a nice little green hoodie with these. Surprise them with these and uh, see what happens. See what type of kid I got. You know you're too young to play this game, right? Like I can go to jail for you playing this. You literally could go like this is for. Like, I think this is rated teen or mature. Go see. Where, where is it at? This is rated M. You gotta be 27 to play this. It's like 17. How are you? You probably gotta delete this I'm game. I'm 72. Go get your crop. How do you, uh, how much do you love these? What do you mean? How much do you love these? For like a set of one team. Um, a team? I wear them every day. Looks so weird with your teeth missing. <laughs> Play the game, man. Are you already playing? What's, what, what's your favorite gun? What kind, of, what kind of, what category is that in? SMG. SMG? Yeah. What's your favorite, uh, do you, do you use LMGs? Yeah, my favorite LMG is the, the RPK and the red LMG. Huh? You know, growing up, guy, I always, like, when I was, like, I'm like, what what should I do after YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was thinking, like, I should be a fashion designer. Like, on some Kanye stuff. You know who Kanye West is? Yeah. 
What do you know Kanye for? That's what you know him for? Yeah. Can you name three Kanye West songs? Um, no. So, do kids your age gonna know him for marrying, um, these is hard, I ain't gonna lie. Kids these days gonna know him as, for marrying Kim K? Here, come put your shoes on. So you probably gotta put them on like this now. Like that. Here. Like that. <laughs> That's hard. No, it's not. Walk, walk, walk around with those. No, yeah, go walk around. I don't even want them no more. Go ahead. Go walk around. Look at that. <laughs> I can't walk. Let me try it. Walk delicately. <laughs> That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Get you some Gucci suit and sneakers. Besides people. Um, Louie. What? Isaiah dog. Louie. You don't love that dog. Yes, You're supposed I to save money. You got you some money shoes. <laughs> Damn. You can wear these with your money. So you want me to glue money to my outfit or something? Look at the camera real quick. And say that again? So you want me to glue Snack me? Snack it to me. Mama? Mama? Uh, my daddy surprised me with some, with some new shoes. Can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it to the mall so I can get out some shoes? What happened to your shoe? You got them. Yeah, I take it to the mall. All right. <laughs> well, you got me. All right. All right, what? I'm about to leave. All right. What size do you wear? Huh? What size do you wear? Huh? What size do you What's wear? What's going on? And what? Shoes. Since my daddy ripped my old Crocs, ma magic, I could have used them for play shoes if I wanted to. But since, since I know you don't got no, I'm going to get them some. Do we have buy your daddy some Crocs? Yeah. Why? <laughs> right. Because he don't got none. Okay. I mean, I get it. Well, we here at the mall now. Yeah, so we can go, we can go get some and... Surprise him with him. Alright. Think he gonna like it? I don't know. What are we gonna see? Oh my god, Gigi like me. Yeah, let me go. 
Are you gonna get the hat today as well? Who? Oh, are you gonna get the hat today as well? Yeah. You going with them to Vegas too? Yeah. All the girls going to Atlanta. like a bag for today, correct? Okay, let me get you a bag. Put the car back in your pocket. Here you go. Get the bag. <laughs> no problem. Go. Both. He ain't recording for me. <laughs> Scott, you watching Donald Trump? You watching Donald Trump, Donald? Huh? You watching Donald Trump? Yeah. Miranda. Can you, can you get me a knife and scissors? Yeah. Daddy messed up my mom. I'm gonna mess up with you. Just gonna mess up these. No, you probably won't mess up these ones. You don't care about them anyway. Hey. Can you need both of these? Can you help me cut this? This closet's so junky. Help you cut the shoe? What you cutting it for? Cause he cut one of them. I cut his. I'm, I'm gonna give him this prism. Which I've, one you want? This one. Like the knife or the shoe? I mean the knife or. You want me to use one and you use one? You give me the knife. Why wouldn't you use the scissors? It's more safe. You can cut from here. This cut so easy. You don't care about these anyway. These shoes ugly anyway. It cuts so easy. This ain't nothing but plastic. You still ain't cut your part? It's up here. Here, let me see. You could just rip it at this point. Good. Are you gonna show them that you cut it? Yeah. He showed It's me. done now. He yeah, that's good. Me. Where's the scissors go? This is the littlest shoe. This looks like it's in my shoe size. Where are the scissors? <laughs> Give me the scissors. Ooh, you gotta be careful, bro. I will. You get the whole back off. Me. You could just rip it now. This shoe is so easy to just rip. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Actually, let me, let me cut the whole. Let me cut the whole boat off. You just struggle. Okay, that's enough. Cause you're struggling. Well, let me cut it. No, it's enough. Cut it. No, you want me to cut it all the way around? Yeah. Cut this whole part. Is that even? There you go. All right. Now I'm gonna go show it to him. 
Dad, I got something to show you. What? Hold on, hold on, Hold on. Hey, let me call you back. I just go out for the lawn for the first time, I guess. Now I'm going to call you back. Yeah. You know, you know how you cut my crocs, right? Hold on, Dad. I swear. Why the f- Hold on. I cut your shoes for you. <laughs> it was so easy. Uh, should I film this? We use the scissors to cut around. We didn't even have to cut it for real. See, look. Well, we just, just rip it. Oh. Look, look how easy it rip. <laughs> oh my God, Dad, that's not. Stop, stop. Why would you it's rip like paper? Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Give it, Billy. Is it? <laughs> huh? Nobody cares about them anyway. They're ugly. They're ugly. Stop, man. You never even wore those. Right. I just... You're not even going to wear them. You bought them just to buy them. They even look like boots off the door. This, I swear to God, this is... This, I, I, I swear to God, this better not be real, now. I swear. It is real. I'm, 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 gonna I'm telling you, it's your first ass whooping if these is real. Oh, I'm going to go grab the other one. Oh, you ever heard the saying, what goes around comes yeah. around? First, you finna get your first ass whooping. Like I'm not playing. I, stop! I bought you some other shoes. I bought you the same shoes. You don't even care about them. I never wore them. You bought those. You wasn't gonna wear them in the first place. Wait, come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you. So just, so just gotta leave. You wish you never did that. Stop. Okay. Stop. Seriously. No. Stop. Like stop. You can still wear it. It's the inside part to it. Stop, okay? A school style to leave. Belt ass. What? It's a joke, bro. I was just trying to get back at you. With a, with a, back, with a. I got something even better than them dumb shoes. You cut mom. I got you, son. I got you. I got you some crap. Open it. <laughs> it made blood. I got you some crap. I got you your first pair of trucks. So you telling me Try that you, you ripped a thirteen hundred dollar shoe? You don't care about them. Do you know what belt to skin feel like? Try the shoe on. Man, I don't want them glossy it. ass shoes. <laughs> what? Why would I? Try it on. No, I'm He's not even. He's watching your first pair of yeah, shoes. Yeah, I'm Try not. It on. Listen, I. So how are you even cut? But you cut it with the scissors. Man, he asked me to get him some scissors. That's why she came in here to get the scissors. You can't be faithful. And what the fuck was you saying? He just told me to record. I was just like, alright. What, what are you mad about? It's just shoes. It's literally just shoes. All these shoes in here. And you did this? You $1,300 for them. They sell them for $90 on this website. Why would you even want these dumb shoes? Stop touching them, man. Stop, let them go. Seriously. It's another shoe in the shoe. Just wear that. <laughs> Why are you just saying? I'm telling you, dog. You, I, I know. Listen. This this is the belt I'm using right here. This belt. I ain't never got whooped one of these. I got whooped many times. Never won a rhinestone belt. 
You finna be shining when I'm when, uh, soon as Scarlet leaves. What's your daddy wanna look like? <laughs> he finna look like Astro Boy. <laughs> this boots from Nora. Wait, no, let me search up something. You think I'm playing? No. Who's Astro Little, little. You finna look like. <laughs> you finna look like this. Look like what? You finna look like these. <laughs> what you finna <will> look? <laughs> we got extension cords. <laughs> this is what you gonna look like. Uh, man, get out of here. Move. This yeah. is literally what you gonna Shut look up. like. Shut up. This is what you're gonna look like Shut when, up. if you try to wear them in public. This I, how I'm gonna wear them now. You still got one. Right. Shut your cross out ass up, man. Anybody <laughs> got you, dude, everybody <laughs> playing with you. Why would you do that to my shoe? Because he don't care about them. You cut his shoe first. Right. Just because they teach you in school, somebody do it to you, don't do it back. You don't mean I can't do it at home. You always tell him somebody do something to him, do it back. You tell him that every time he go to school. So you just listen to what he say. I'm you listening. told him that. I didn't tell you. You tell him all the time. If somebody do something to you, that and you don't do it back, I'm going to whoop your ass when you go home. Now what if I put gun? Now what if, what if somebody come in this house and say I'm ending your whole family if you can, if, 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 unless you can whistle. Then what? The breeze of fresh air when you did that shit too. Get your whistle. <laughs> know your shit feel weird. <laughs> Fuck shit, sour as hell. That's not even funny. Dad, get out. I'm literally gonna lose my mind if I stay in this house. So what do you gotta get out for? See, now ain't nobody gonna die. Do it. <laughs> you making me laugh. Get your fat gap ass on, man. Ain't nobody, I'm not, alright. I'm, I'm literally, dude, she was starting to leave. You getting the work. He just did it. Why is you looking so sick? I ain't even looking that serious with when his belt touch your back, easy. That's crazy. Dang. Nigga, get out my face, bro. What the fuck is you doing? Like, move, go home. Stop messing with my shoes. Stop. Hope you save them checks. Bro, get out. My bad, all right. I'm being honest right now, I don't know what is the point if you don't have a kid, bro. Like, how does it feel for both of y'all to just wake up knowing that y'all just living for yourself? Like, very good. Like, like I, in the back of my okay, mind, son, huh? okay. the Man. back of my mind, it's like, okay, I gotta do this for this. It's like y'all just wake up and literally can do anything. Like at two in the morning, to live by yourself and not have a kid, I couldn't even imagine how that feels. First of all, when I was 21 years old, when I was 19, I had to move back in with my mom because I went broke. I couldn't afford living living in my apartment. Damn. At 20, uh, oh, you like tried it? Like 19, yeah. I, at 18, my mama put us out. At 20, I moved back in. Cause we was like 18, cause I was, I just turned 18. So it was like, boom. Yeah, so it was like two, a year and a half, we lived in an apartment, we had to move back. I was selling, I was to steal people's shoes, bro. I used to go to like gyms, mm -hmm. steal people's shoes, sell them on eBay to make money. How much, how much money you make from that? Probably like $40. What's the biggest lick you ever had? Like what shoe was it? It was it? like $170. Uh, this girl, her name was Keela. She gave me her, her daughter's shoes. The crazy thing about eBay was, is that you would sell it for the price you want, 
and then like 30 days later, it would take 30%. Yeah. So I used to be like in the negative all the time. So, and then, um, Brittany used to lie. Bro, I know she was lying. She used to lie and say, oh, my mom put me out. So I would, she would just come stay yeah. with me. Like she used to hold the little clothes hanger full of clothes and be like, oh, you gotta come, she's, come I gotta stay here and my mom put me out. And then I, I'll see her with her mom and they just all happy. Like, like if your mom put you out, whoa. So from 21, then at 21, I finally got a house. My head just went somewhere else. This is funny. Well, you, you had a house before? I had a house. At 21, I got me a That's house. That's you were changing cable. And, and, uh, yeah, I was and installing internet. You ever stole some from somebody's house when you were changing cable? Yeah. So this old man, I was in his 90s. This man was like 95. <laughs> this man was loose hey, that, Yeah, yeah. Hey, that bitch loose as hell. Whatever. Yeah, cutting dude. out your ear. Hey, dude. Come on. But um, I stole this Coca-Cola from this man's house. I looked it up on eBay. It was worth like $40. I put it in my pocket. Walked outside to act like I was getting something. I felt bad walking in there. Because he was an old ass man. He's like 95. I'm like, there's no way that his kids is letting him be in his house without no camera. So I'm going to put it back. But. You think Skylar ever stole something? For me? Yeah. Nah. Probably my heart. What? My bad. Damn. But, anyways, bro. at what 20. The fuck? At bro, you should have so, a family, bro. That's what I'm saying. Look, so, at 21, right? Isn't that sexual harassment at a workplace, bro? Like, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, you could go to jail for that. So, at 21, I finally got an apartment. I mean, I got a house. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden. No, no, this is the crazy thing. Oh, I remember. At 21, I was still living at my mom's house. I was moving out. I moved out in August. On Valentine's Day, Brittany, oh, it was not Valentine's Day, it was Father's Day. My mom was like, here go your Father's Day gift. Fuck you giving me a Father's Day. I thought she was being funny. Oh. She was like, oh, Brittany pregnant. Get my house. Brittany don't live with me. She lives somewhere. You live with her, with her mom. No. I was like, what the hell? It was, it was like, it was so weird. Like, yeah. but let me tell you how my mama told me. When I was with somebody, yeah, you told me that. You told I me I was that. with and like, the girl was at the crib. I, like me and Brittany wasn't together when we had her her child or whatever. When we conceived our child, and this girl was walking in the house, and my mom was Father's Day. My mama was like, "Happy Father's Day." I'm like, "What?" She was like, "Brittany pregnant." And it looked like the girl. Like, I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" Are you and your mom cooler now? Yeah, but yeah. So then at 22, I mean 21, I finally get my own house. Like in my own house, now I got a whole kid that's living in the house. And then I got Brittany living in the house. And then at tw and then ever since then, bro. You could never, never imagine living by yourself? Bro, I've never lived by myself. Damn. I lived by myself for probably four months. Four, it was like four months, bro, I lived by myself. Because I was born in January, February, Brittany moved in. I was living by myself for five years, bro. Bro, never, bro you want to know what's crazy? What? On top of that, bro, I stayed... Me and my brother always shared rooms. Me and my twin brother. Mm. Always. So I always had bunk beds. All right. And then my mom got us, did she took the bunk beds off and put it as twin size bed. Always had a room, my brother. Not uh -uh. Even when I moved back with my mom when she lived in Pontiac, Moo had his own room. TT had her own room, her room, and downstairs, me and my brother shared a basement together. Was well, that where Daryl used to film his videos? Yes. I in my room. Weak ass QA. Um Nah, my, my uh, parents, they uh, they got bunk beds. So, <laughs> so my dad sleep on top. And my mom sleep under. What's the most struggle, struggling thing you went through? Uh, no, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, um, oh, one day, one day, uh, it wasn't like a lot of, like we didn't have food one day. And uh, my dad was like, yo, whipped up, son. <laughs> you already know. And it, it was uh it was applesauce and uh it, came, it was it was applesauce and applejack. I swear on my life. Applejack, applesauce and fruit loops. All my life, bro. Did you know you got a circle on the back of your head? On the back of my head? Like it's a the dread is in a circle. Yeah. 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 Like I, I like uh, I read online that uh people are attracted to things that's round. So I put that circle of thing, Skylar. Um, what the fuck? Nah, uh, what's, the, what's the most struggling thing you ever had to do? Bro, bro listen, bro. We didn't have no water, bro. Like, Everybody went through that, bro. No, bro. We didn't have no you water. You ever had no water? Me? Damn. No, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you. What's the most... So, I didn't... We didn't have... We had zero water. Like, we used to... We used to have to get, like, water and then boil it 
to take a shower. Okay. Because it was cold and we had no heat. So we had the heat wasn't on. Bro, the heat, you just turn on the stove, open the, open the, the No, we had a gas, we had an electric stove. Damn. So it was like, it used oh, to just, the kettle thing used to just hit us. bro. bro. <laughs> that shit fuck y'all up. What's the, what, the most struggling thing you ever went through in your life? Honestly? Yeah. Probably nothing. I mean, it had to be something. Seriously. Like, no, seriously. No electricity got cut off for four days. I mean, like, not to like our fault, like, yeah. a pa like a storm, <laughs> a storm. Or, like, <laughs> or like a company. So y'all had a generator? If the storm uh, thing went out. No, like I remember times where it's like, oh, let's light a candle, but it's like fun. Yeah, it was, if like, it was like, like it was like, storm outside. It's like fun. Like there's nothing. Not yeah, yet. I'm being serious. It was literally nothing. no, but like if you Girl, if somebody asks Wu up that, in in ten years, he gonna be like. Shit. Uh, my dad wanted to get a Tesla for two years. <laughs> and he, 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 I'm going to be like, one day, we wanted to go to my uncle's mansion. And my dad had to stop at a supercharge place. For 45 minutes. 45 minutes. We had to walk out and go to Burbank's Coke factory and acting like we wanted to. That's so you crazy. He, he threw like my that. chips away. Right, he threw my chips away when I was doing it. I don't allow chips in my house and shit. So. Really? Yeah. Damn. You making this nigga go through boot camp because you decided at your late fucking stage to lose weight? Man, what? <laughs> no, but that's like the struggle. Like, the str I don't, that's so crazy. Like, Woo Up is literally going to, like, your kid? Yeah. They're going to be like. That's that's, what, that's why I hate when people, like, make fun of people like Kim Kardashian or, like, anybody rich. They're like, oh, they had it easy. Meanwhile, we're all busting our ass to give that life to our kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit never made sense to me. So, like, if someone, like, had it easy, it don't matter. But also, but yeah, nah, I've, I've experienced the, the no water. I've experienced the no electricity. The no water thing didn't last more than like one or two days. But I remember coming home from school one day. I'm like, all right, it's time to, you know, wash my hands and face. Oh, yeah, no water came off that bitch. Or, uh, bro, you have you ever been through the struggle with, with, with the food stamps getting cut off? Bro, I would have, you would have yeah. thought that, bro, you would have thought that we lost our house, bro. Cause you got you had to call these caseworkers, and bro, my mom. The, the crazy thing is, is that my mom, she was cool up until she was like, "I'm just gonna take care of y'all by myself." Mm -hmm. Then it was a struggle, cause my mom it was always like my 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 pops and then her, but then they split ways and it was like, damn. Yeah, I mean, she did the thing, you know. Nah, um, my parents don't know how to like finesse, bro. So like when so like when it had got cut off, they just just like. All right. Meanwhile, they lie. Like, all that shit. Like, oh, I got to tell this story, bro. Oh, my God. I'll tell you all this story, and then I'll see you tomorrow. I lit, or I got a, and I got one question for you. Um, so, in 2017 was the first time I got on an airplane, right? I got on an airplane. I came to L.A. Before I came to L.A., my mom was like, can you pay my electric bill? Because my electric bill was in her. Both of, my, both of the electric bills was under my name. Yeah. Hers and mine. So... My mom paid hers, but I didn't pay mine yet. Mm. I went to LA and I remember it to the day. I had $134. My brother, we was we was we was at the Grove. Not I didn't even know it was the Grove back then because we ate at Blaze Pizza. Yeah. And PewDiePie was eating at the the, 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 oh, really? the vegan place yeah. that was right there. So my brother was scared to say something to him. I'm like, say something to him. No respect. I'm like, it's a little white dude. Go say something to him, right? He didn't say anything. So we leaving and my brother had been paying for the Ubers all day. So he's like, Hey, can you pay for this Uber? Oh man, I got hundred and thirty-four dollars, right? And he probably knew that, and he's a YouTuber now. He didn't yeah. know though. He just was like, well, Yo, like well, so I pay for the Uber. We we're on Hollywood Boulevard. We're we're at the so you know where the the, the Hollywood Bowl thing at that mm -hmm. that that uh, the, the Best Chinese Western theater? right there. No, yeah, yeah, the yeah Hollywood yeah, Bowl, yeah, Best yeah, Western yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, you I get there is about twenty nine dollars, right? So now I got. A hundred, I got 90, no, I got $101, I'll never forget. We go, we, get, we, we go out to eat on the Hollywood Boulevard. We get back. Now, my mom, we get back to the hotel, we walk some, no, we go to, we go to my brother's first apartment mm -hmm. um, in Hollywood. We get an Uber there. I get like some fruit at the bottom, it's like $5. Then we go to the wax museum. Go to the wax museum, we like, my mom is like, I'm gonna pay for everybody. Then we go to the Ripley's, believe it or not. I was like, I'll pay for everybody. Yeah. I didn't know it was $30 each. So I kind of was like looking for my wallet. I lying. I still got $101. Then I get back. 
My mom, we, it's a restaurant inside there. I order a club sandwich and some fries. My mom ordered some chicken wings. My brother ordered some pasta, didn't even eat it. It came up to $67, bro, right? I had $40 at the airport. We get to the airport, we go to Phoenix to LA, then we go to LA to Phoenix, and then the Phoenix to Detroit got like um, pushed back like mm -hmm. four hours. I was hungry, I'm like, bro, Emails didn't really used to pop up like that, but when I got home, my my power was cut. Mm. It was hundred and thirteen dollars, bro. And right? then you could have. I had thirty dollars, right, bro? I switched my mind. I told him like, Yo, oh, I paid the wrong bill. So I switched it to mine. Then my mom's got cut off, and I had to lie to my mom like, hey, I think they switched the bill because I was getting paid in two days. Yeah. So third it was so it was wednesday when we got back but it was going into thursday so thursday her whole thing was cut off i'm like i'm gonna call i'm gonna call him friday that wednesday going into you know how you get paid at 12 on yeah. to friday i paid it never told her bro. Damn. literally was so embarrassed this was my first time getting on the i was so broke and then um yeah that was crazy but i got one question ai drake or real drake um, I'll, I'll, I'll take real Drake because you could actually feel him. I feel that. Feel what? Like him. Like, if he, like, I could have a conversation with the real Drake that's not filtered by, like, robots or anything else like that. Do I look tired? Who your favorite rapper that's, that passed away? Um, uh, Leslie. Who's that? Uh, Uzi's, uh... What about Amy Whitehouse? She didn't rap. Amy Whitehouse is nice. Favorite rapper that passed away, though? Shit, bro. R.P. my nigga Mac Miller, bro. If they made an AI Mac Miller album, would you listen to it? Uh, R.P. my nigga Sad Frosty. Sad Frosty. AI Sad Frosty. And you could rap it, they'd change your voice. Yeah. I'd listen to it. Not gonna lie, Winter Nights, one of Drake's hardest songs. He didn't even make it. If Drake, um, let's say Drake wanted to put you on Air Drake, right? He says, here's the rules. You have to leave your phone in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. No camera, no nothing. You won't be pictured, you won't be nothing. You have to, but meet me here. Would you do it? No. Why not? What's the fucking point? I don't want to need no memory. All right, let's say you decide, yeah. The first thing he do, he see, spread your ass. Really? I'll see y'all next video.